Okay, so I know the board isn't through yet, but I wanted to show um, the definitions of a semigroup and a semi-automaton. A free semigroup and um, an even riser. And, uh, yeah. One second. There we go. Okay, so a semigroup is, uh, for those of you who know what a group is, um, I'll just be reintroducing this. A groupoid or a binary system or a complete binary system, depending on who you talk to, um, is something is a um, is a set S with a operation. Uh, call it uh, phi, um, where uh, this is binary, so you have a phi. Something in S. V of, well, it's really V of, is S cross S into S, which means that two elements of S map into S. That's a groupoid. Um, being complete just means that there exists something that you, there's no undefined operations. Um, so if you have X and Y in the group, you apply phi to it, you always get out some Z. You'll never have an X and Y such that there is no, um, uh, there's nothing. Uh, so a free, a semigroup is something where you have associativity. So um, suppose a semigroup is a groupoid plus associativity. Um, so that's good. Uh, associativity basically means that a semigroup. Now a free semigroup, free semigroup, given uh, an alphabet epsilon. Basically that's the, the semigroup would be over epsilon. That's the elements of the group. A semigroup is um, the group, semigroup of things f of elements in B star, I mean sigma star, the star of the alphabet, which basically means all the words formed from that uh, alphabet, which is necessarily I can't think of a place where you have an infinite, a uh, finite free semigroup. That sounds kind of odd because you, yeah, unless there's some weird constraint, you can't get a non-free, a non-finite. If you have a finite number of elements, of course, you can form an infinite free semigroup. Uh, so suppose you have A, B, e, and C are, are in your group, and sigma equals the set A, B, and C, then sigma star, then uh, A, 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 is in sigma star, star, and of course A, B, C, and sigma star, not absurd. Um, further, you can define a, you define this as a semigroup by saying, okay, phi of, uh, or, uh, it's not a good way to think of it as phi, think of it as a multiplication. So if you have A, 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 times, or, s or circle times, or star is usually the best way to do it, uh, times A, B, C, it's of uh, A, 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 B, C. And that's what you get. Um, so that's a free semigroup. Um, now a semi-automaton. So we know what an automata, an automa, automata is. It's a set uh, U, a set uh, sigma, transition function delta, a set of uh, starting states U0, and a final set of final states F. This is an A set. Now a semi-automata, SA, is equal to a set Q, a set of input ex expression C, and a transfer function delta. Let me see. I think this book actually, this book, Algebraic Theory of Automata, um, describes it slightly differently. Um, uh, let me check to make sure I'm getting, in case one of you decides to use this, you'll know what I'm talking about. They call it um, M. Is there? Is there um, a word for it, uh, which basically says, uh, 
yeah, it's just applied to each and applied to each of the um, the states. Uh, S is S three zero is the finest set of states. Q is if, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's no big deal. So it's exactly what I'm saying, except that they call this M, um, which I don't like. I like it being called delta. It makes more sense to me. Um, so basically, the only difference here is that we're not including a starting state or final states. Um, so they're a little. There's helpful in some instances where you don't really want it to, when you don't necessarily want it to end at some particular point, or when everything could be a final state. Um, a semigroup of an automaton. Let me just make sure I get this right. Actually, the atomics. I just wanted to give you the definition of a semi-automaton and a semi-free semigroup, and then the next one I'm going to go into a uh, free semigroup of semi-automata. Uh, 